Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. It is time for another show. I think this is show like 22 for me now. I'm really excited about that. Like I've been able to keep this thing going for 22 shows. So yes, we ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Shrimp and grits tonight is going to start with a nice big pot. So I've got my big pot. Now, uh, the way I'm going to start this may be very different from the way you're used to seeing shrimp and grits being started. Uh, because I'm going to introduce a down-home ingredient, honey. Piece of fat bag. Mm -hmm. in, in the pack, in the pack with the plastic over it. Piece of fat bag from my local grocery store. I'm going to put, because these are kind of small, I'm going to do one, turn that up, and two pieces of fat bag. So what I'm going to do is get that pot nice and hot, render some of that fat down off um, from, from the skin there, get a nice little oil going. And uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So let me show you what I got tonight. Okay. I'm, I'm going to break out all of my stuff so you can see what I'm doing. Okie dokie. So uh, what's going inside? <laughs> what's going inside of the shrimp gravy that I'm going to make? Because that's the lusciousness that's going to go on top of the grits. My grits is done. I went on and started that uh, about an hour ago. Some people use a nice um, coarse stone ground grits for their shrimp and grits. I personally just like my regular grits that I get from my grocer nice white it cooks up real creamy hey shauna morris thank you for being here hi keisha <laughs> and inside of the shrimp gravy uh i picked up some argentine shrimp and they were big and red and i cleaned them all up and put some lemon juice on them to preserve it. And I also put some, whatever seasoning you want to use. I put mine, some Old Bay, you know, but that's your shrimp. Now, you know it's going to cook up to half, right? Yeah, but I got quite a bit of it in here. That's going to go inside the shrimp gravy. I also have some white shrimp that's going to go on top that I've already cleaned. I'm going to leave the skin on these, the shell on these. But these are just my white shrimp because I'm going to kind of grill these a little bit. And this is going to adorn my shrimp and grits at the end. Okay, so we're going to sit that to the side. Okay, until we're ready to put it on my little pot griddle. Okay, let me wash my hands because that felt a little weird. So, um, shrimp and grits. I'm, I'm going to turn this pot up because I want that to, I want that uh, fat back to really fry down. So once it does, I'm going to add some diced tomatoes. And I'm not done. Y'all, let me tell you when I felt so good about my prep today. I got all of this stuff done. So I've got some scallions that I cut. I've got red onions. Look at these colors for one thing. Ah, ah, 
yes red onions <laughs> and i julienned some baby bell peppers different colors red yellow orange and i also got some kielbasa now the kielbasa is optional you don't have to do that if you don't want to hey oh coco that's my baby hey sugar thank you honey <laughs> So this is all the stuff that's going to go inside my shrimp and grits. I'm going to reserve some of the scallions to kind of, um, yeah, let me sprinkle a few on at the end. All right. So this is nice and cold because I, t I know, right? Just one more look. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can hear my fat back frying. Now, fat back and shrimp and grits. If you want a good gravy, yes. And honey, when I'm done with this gravy, you won't even care if shrimp is in it or not. You're just going to want to sop up the gravy with a piece of light bread, as we say at home. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, that's that's doing all right. Okay, so I'm glad I turned that up. It's starting to curl a little bit. Let me tell you what else I did. I rendered some bacon bits. Just bacon bits out of the bag. And I took them and I put them in this pot because, because we got fat back in the gravy. We got to add a little bacon to the dish. So... Everybody knows that everything is better with bacon. So, now all of this is optional. All of y'all, if, if you have not introduced like meat back into your diet, that's fine. Don't do it. Do it how you want to do it. Okay, I'm just showing you how I do it. You can also, ooh, turn that down. Mm-hmm. Tell you what else I did. Child, this girl has been busy 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 so i did um an aromatic oil that which is in my good. aromatic oil i've got some red pepper flakes i've got um garlic cloves i've got lemon zest all of that inside this bottle of oil and I did that today now y'all hold on I'm sorry I this this is gonna mess with me if I don't do this <laughs> Grandparents, Ashley, please. <sighs> they done messed me up. Hold on. Need a drink glass of wine on that. Okay. It's shrimp and grits tonight here on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being with me through my mess. Honey, you uh, amaze me every time you come on to see do the same little thing. All right, it's going to be kind of loud. I got my um, fat back in here. A little kosher salt with all the swine I'm putting in here. I'm going to add kosher salt. <laughs> my food is an oxymoron tonight. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. So leave that up high. Let that stew, stew, stew. 
my grits is done for tonight. The only thing I'm going to do to my grits right now is add a little parm. Add a little parm. Why is it cooking? So I've got the tomatoes stewing away in there. Before I did that, I should have added my doggone it. I should have added my, never mind. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Here, I got another pot. I'm going to dump the bacon out and I will fry up my veggies. I like to kind of sear my vegetables first. And when I'm going to dish, to me it just brings out an, another layer of flavor and goodness that you want in everything. So, uh, what am I doing? I've got my little pot. Don't worry about the little bacon bits and then we gonna eat that. So, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna add a little my veggies and stuff to it okay now while the tomatoes are stewing I want to add my kielbasa because I really want that to cook it's not raw but still I want a little and I wanted to sear that first too but I didn't so I think we'll be all right anyway we shall We'll be all right. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing. All right. So we've got our pan back here. I want to get that nice and hot before I add in my red onion, my julienne peppers, and some scallions. All right. So let that heat up. Be patient. When I tell you I love this pot, this pot has like a little griddle on one side, and it is heavy duty, honey. We're going to use that griddle later on tonight, so I'm going to show you how in just a bit. So my pan is heating up, and all I want to do is just saute these vegetables. I'm not trying to brown them, but I want to, I'm going to save some onions for my salad. Yes, I have a salad. I'm going to do a wedge salad tonight. Peppers. Scallions. Some more of that aromatic oil that I made. And salt. Because with every ingredient that you add to your dish, you need to make sure that you are seasoning it. So, just going to season that with a little salt. I'm not going not gonna to get all crazy with the seasonings there because it's going to all come together in a lovely meal. My tomatoes are talking. The tomatoes and kielbasa are married, honey. They are together as one. Oh, yes. Let that cook. We're doing it tonight. We're doing shrimp and grits tonight here in Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen. Now, uh, commercial break. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you do that. Okay, do it tonight on another device. If you don't have another device, then do it after the show. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And on Instagram, I'm at Sugar Pearls underscore online. That's it. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L-S underscore online okay so thank you thank you thank you yes james i prepped today baby i prepped so 
my uh, veggies are starting to sweat. Ooh, look at that. Look at those colors. Because if your food ain't got no color, honey, I don't want it. My food has to be pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay. I know that's going to start getting hot in a little bit. So what I want to do is use my little mittens. Yes, honey. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. It's doing all right. Let that kielbasa cook down some more. Now, in a perfect world, I would have seared the kielbasa, Donna. <laughs> hey, Donna. Oh, mini Ethel. Yes. In a perfect world, I would have seared the kielbasa first so that it gets a nice brown. So when you're going through the, the, the stew, you can see the brown on the kielbasa. I neglect the neglect. I ain't do that. So we got what we got. I'm gonna make sure I do the rest of it right for you. Okay. Like I said, I'm not trying to brown the veggies. I just want to sweat them out and saute them. Now they're kind of soft. Guess where they're going? In a stew. All right. So let's get this off of here. One more again. And just pour it on in there. Like so. Come on now. My God, my God. Look at this beauty. You can't see. Hold on, baby. Let me let me, let me take you to the water. Look at that. Look at what's going on. Yes. All of that is happening for my shrimp gravy. I like a little gravy on top of my grits. And uh, I'm going to do you right. Don't worry. I know I missed some steps. But I'm, I'm going to make up for it. I promise you. I pro And we got that fat back in there. <laughs> To really give you that good down home. Yes, God. It's going to be all right. I got my little skillet, my little ugly skillet, back on that eye. What's about to go in there now? Can you guess? Mm -hmm. I know you know. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to shake this up a little bit. I want to get some of that pepper down in there. So I got my little aromatic oils. Look, look how pretty that is when you when you season your oil. When you season your oil, honey, that flavor just is infused through every bite. Add some of that aromatic oil to the pan. And um, for the shrimp that's going to go inside of the gravy, not right now because she's still working for my good. We're going to add our shrimp to the... Now, I, I had a couple of seeds in here from the lemons, so I want to make sure I'm... Because don't nobody want to bite down on the lemon seed. Okay? So get that there. Yes. I'm going to show you in just a tad. Hold on. Be patient. Oh, gosh, yes. For the shrimp, I'm using a, a little argent, a little, well, not so little, but it's an Argentine shrimp, which is really red. They look extra big when you buy them, but <laughs> when you cook them, it ain't but a morsel. Just a morsel, I say. Make sure I get my... 
Uh-oh. Y'all, my mama called me during my show. Somebody, I can't see the show. <laughs> Ashley, did you eat grandma straight yet? Now that pot needs to be real high. All right. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm going to save that for something else. I'm going to cover, cover, cover again my stewed tomatoes, kielbasa, and vegetables. Okay? Okay. Now. Now you do know that when you cook shrimp, you ain't you ain't cooking it to death. Two minutes on each side at the most. That's it. You, you're not. Oh my God, y'all be trying to cremate your seafood. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't succumb to the cremation. This pot ain't. Hot enough. I wanted to sear. I should have done it on my arm. Um. Hey, B. <laughs> she on here. <laughs> Thank God for the granddaughters. She got grandma straight. Mm, child. Let me tell you. Ashley, I'm going to have to do something real special for you one day. Now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So I'm going to do a little salad. You know, I, I like a little roughage. And I haven't had a salad today. That's it for shrimp. That's it. Okay? Don't cook it anymore. It's done. Alright? So I'm going to sit the shrimp. See, it didn't cook up that tiny. But it's done. And it's seasoned so good. Okay, so I'm going to sit that to the side. Now, I've got that still cooking. I want to get started now on my wedge salad. Very simple, very easy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm going to do that later. Okay. Forgot I had my parsley. So I bought some Italian flat leaf parsley. And like most um, herbs like this, when you cut stem off at the bottom, if you want to preserve it, go and stick it in a little jar of water. And it'll be like a little flour. It'll stay fresh for you. So that is going to garnish my shrimp and grits when I get ready to plate it because I love what all things pretty all right um for the wedge salad now y'all know I'm I'm not a fan of the iceberg lettuce <sighs> sorry that was me making a face at Ashley she gonna wait on that I'm gonna do something special for you all right not a fan of the iceberg lettuce, but if you're going to do a traditional wedge salad, then you want to make sure you um, use iceberg. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do with this, um, with this wedge uh, is... Cut the base off. It's just so white. I mean, I'm, ugh, I'm not a fan of white things so much. But for this wedge salad, we're going to make it do what it do. So let's kind of rinse it a little bit.
Prince and the Witch. Ooh, that made it heavy. Oh, gosh. And I'm going to try to beat as much water out of it as I possibly can. I need a salad spinner. That's what I need. Okay, so I just wrapped it and I'll let some of that water come out of it before I cut it up. Let me check on my stewed tomatoes and whatnot. Oh, that's hot. All right, so let me show you what's what's happening with the shrimp gravy right now. Got this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Tamika. <laughs> Thank you. I just decided that I wasn't going to try to hide my fat no more. I was just going to embrace it, honey. You know, if you can't beat it, celebrate it. Hey, so that's what I'm doing. All right. Oh, celebrate. goodness. That just, it just, every is nice and soft now and you still maintain those beautiful colors that you want in your shrimp and breads so that's that's food to me um color and life and vibrance and layering of flavors um you know you don't want everything you cook to taste the same way so you you add flavors on top of flavors. So the way I started it with the fat bag, you don't have to do that. Do it your way. You can just use plain old olive oil. It is up to you. Um, but I recommend doing the diced tomatoes in order to start your shrimp gravy. Okay. Let me taste to see if I need to add anything. Nope. Nope. Don't add nothing. When you season, season it go, you end up with some good flavors going on. Okay? All right. Now, I want to add... my beautiful Argentine shrimp to that. Now see all of that right there? That's left inside the pan right there. <laughs> you better get that out. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Yes. See, now I've done cleaned it out. Don't waste a single bit of flavor. Now, I've got this. I was going to make a little slurry, and I think I still am going to make a little slurry. So, bear with me. Add just a little bit of water to some cornstarch. forgetting something. I can't remember what I was about to do. Jesus. All right, add some little cornstarch to that. And because I really seasoned that gravy, it's not going to water it down at all. All it's doing is adding just a little bit of thickness to it, just like I want. Okay? All right. Chef, let me, okay, one more, one more again. Let me show you what's happening. Eh, right there. 
right there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let that cook some more. I know. I know. Yo. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave it uncovered. Because I'm getting ready to use that lid for something. For my wedge salad. Here we go. Wedge salad. I did learn well from my mama. Yes, 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 honey. My mom is all about flavor and color. And um, I ain't never had a, a bad meal that my mama made, ever. This has all been good. So for the wedge salad, I'm going to make just a small one for me. You're just cutting it in a wedge. Ooh. I know. That's why they call it a wedge salad, y'all. Because it's just a little wedge. That's it. Set that on the side. I got a little blue cheese. Because every wedge salad needs some really good good blue cheese on it super easy a few little blue blue cheese crumbles before I do that no I did not make my blue cheese dress and I bought it so we're going first to just drizzle, drizzle it on there. Oh gosh, to hear these tomatoes right now, that gravy sounds so good. Uh, where's my pepper? Little black pepper. bacon bits and uh booyaka 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 that's your weird salad that's it mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and i am starving i don't think i ate all day i did not eat all day mm. I'm going to do a little something else. Remember that um, when I did the sushi last week and I made that spicy mayo with the mayonnaise and the shiraza and the rice wine vinegar? Look at this. It is beautiful. So I'm going to launch on that while my gravy is doing the doggone thing. Oh, gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And I do love some blue cheese, honey. All right, I'm gonna move the shrimp out the way, put it on the back eye. It's doing good. Oh, my, my, my. Uh oh. <laughs> it almost looks like a gumbo. No okra, but it, 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 it's reminiscent of a, of a gumbo. Carolina style, baby. Remember the lid to my big pot? I'm going to put it on this eye. Because my shrimp and grits is not done yet. Okay? This tagine fruit seasoning you need to have in your cupboard. So get it. Tagine, let me show you one, one more time. Mm-hmm. 
Put some tagine on there. Oh. A little lemon pepper. And I'm not going to use a lot of this because they be trying to um, lie to y'all. Y'all know they put salt in this, right? So you have to be careful about how much of it you use. It say lemon pepper, but the first ingredient is salt. So since I did not put salt on here, I can I don't feel bad about adding lemon pepper. And just getting all worked in, honey. Mm. Hey. Work, 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 work. Okay. This is about to be the holy grail of your shrimp and grits recipes. Now, for this recipe, I left the uh, the shell on. It's de-veined, but I left the shell on because I don't want it to shrivel up so bad. All right? Okay. Ooh. I think she read it. I heard her sizzling. Okay, now when I lay it down, you do it like that first. I'm gonna sit them up. Let them sit up high. honey and be smart about it all right so just put you another pan on top of that weight it down i got some rice in there it's just a canister i keep in the cabinet and weight it down so it really presses and gets that nice crust on the outside all right if that's about one minute i want to remove And I want to flip, 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 flip. Oh my gosh. Flip it over. Just flip it on. You know I got to be back to see what I'm doing now, right? Gotta use your head, man. Gotta use your head. The shrimp gravy looks real good. It's got a nice thickness that I want. And we're gonna be ready to plate and eat in just a second, honey. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> I'm going lighter and lighter. It hides my bald spots. I just said that. I did. I know. I did. It's okay. And turn that off. Tell me I ain't bad. Tell me. I dare you. I dare you. Look at that. They stay big because you kept it inside the shell. And when you pressed it down with something heavy, it got that nice seared crust. Look at that. Yeah. 
You ready for me to plate it now? Okay. If you insist. All right. Got a few things in the way. I haven't checked on this grits in a while, so. Ooh. Yes. It's creamy. Oh. That Parmesan in there is so on. Oh, man. Stir it up. Mm. Little darling. Now I want to plate my grits because I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit so the gravy can hold up. Alright, so just ladle, ladle, ladle. It's a little thinner than I wanted. I wanted to cook it a little thicker, but that's my fault. That is my fault, baby. Yes. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. Okay, let that go. I got so much stuff. So much stuff. Mm. And I'm gonna cut some parsley while I'm waiting for my my stuff to cool off. But oh, I made it so soft. I didn't measure my water. I don't measure nothing. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I never measure. Um, all right, so you're just going to rough chop some flat leaf parsley. I don't want the stems, so I get rid of that. Get rid of the stems. to be my supper tonight y'all mm. I wish you could join me oh my gosh this grits is so hot and soft that I'm afraid the gravy might not hold up but yeah what the heck let's, let's just go for it Okay, so I got my plate of grits here. Nice and white and pretty. My Parmesan cheese is in there. When I did my grits, I don't have to teach y'all how to make grits, right? That's why I cooked it ahead of time because I'm like, they know how to make grits. Right? So that it's not lumpy. Okay. Yes. Uh, I added some. I would have cooked it with some chicken stock. But I didn't have any. So I had to use chicken base in my grits. A pat of butter. Okay, a couple of pats. Stop judging with your eyes. A couple of pats of butter. Some Parmesan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just let it do what it do. Every now and then, go back, stir it. Make sure you're working all the the lumps out so that it's nice and smooth just like mine all right let's get ready to eat okay i don't want to slot it spoon for that i'm gonna yeah. okay i can turn you down now baby you you've done a good work you've done a good work okay so 
Yo, oh God, I feel like you can smell what, what is happening. I'm, let me, I'm trying to adjust, I know. And I'm left-handed, so bear with me. So in your shrimp gravy, you got your sausage, you got your fat back, <laughs> some Argentine shrimp, uh, lots of vegetables, some julienne baby bell carrots, um, baby bell peppers, some red onions, and some scallions. Oh man, messed it up, messed it up, messed it up. Uh -huh. I want some of everything. I want some of that sausage on there and everything. Okay, normally I I put too much grits on the plate, but normally I would have way more. Mm, goodness, no, not not you first, first. I want to do you. Oh, you're supposed to stand up. That's because my grit's too soft. You. You. And you. All y'all can get it. Oh, God. I am killing this plating right now. It is not working for my good. That's all right. We gonna eat it anyway. Okay. Way too much grits. All right, get some bacon on there. Get some scallions on there. A little bit of parsley. And Honey, I'm gonna put some of that spicy mayo that I made with the mayo and shirasa in there and just drizzle, 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 drizzle. Now take a look at that. Look at that. Mm. Would you pay for that? Mm -hmm. I would. And I'm about to eat, girl. Let me tell you. Three big old shrimp grilled to perfection on top of a plate of grits, nice and creamy, and your shrimp gravy dead center. Now, I'll, I'll let you go ahead and look at it again. Screenshot. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Child. You can't tell me I ain't been cooking for some five-star restaurant, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but everything is possible when you just try it. Y'all, I hope y'all be trying these recipes for yourself. I'm giving you the recipes for free. Don't wait till I start charging you. <laughs> Don't wait for that. Now, let's taste. Now, I'm going to do like daddy. And I'm, I'm going to use a spoon for this one because the fork is not going to help me get everything that I need. So I'm going to use a spoon to help me on my path. All right, honey. <laughs> oh, you did hold it. Thank you. I th look, okay, so my brother Thomas said, don't forget to take pictures. So I'm going to make another plate after I eat. I'm going to do another plate. Um, Two of my girlfriends are coming over. So we're about to have a little dinner tonight. And this is on the menu. Mm -hmm. So let me get just a little bit of everything.
have mercy. Mmm. Mmm. On me. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm. I'm smacking because I'm trying to blow it off as I eat because it's hot. You got the spice from the spicy mayonnaise drizzled on top. You got your delicious shrimp gravy going. Y'all. This is, ooh. Look at that piece of tomato. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I want to marry myself right now, man. God. Mm. One more time. One more time. Mm-hmm. Even with the shrimp done fell over, it still is a masterpiece. Mm. Eat your grits from the outer edge where it's cooled off. Don't worry, the cookbook is coming, honey. It's going to be filled with recipes and stories of growing up and just life lessons and womanhood and a little bit of tea, honey. Mm-hmm. Because I got tea. Yes, honey. Mmm. My goodness. My version of shrimp and grits. Yes, sugar pearl style, honey. You can do it too.